inside. Hi guys, and grab your heaviest band. And it, for example, mine's a purple, or take two bands is another choice, but you're gonna take the band or bands around your heel arch. You can cross your band like an X and exhale, pull. Welcome. Now you're gonna be warming up your back muscles, your biceps, hello, and your rear deltoid. I'm gonna be changing my position, but for now you're seated, you're tall, and you're bending your elbows. Yes, that looks good, I can see you, wonderful. Your neck is long, breathing in and out, pulling, and you notice we're walking our hands in more. If you don't feel enough tension, the, the way you make it harder is you walk your hands and you choke more up on that uh, Dynaband or that elastic tubing. Exhale and pull the elbows past your ribs. Let's take five more. This ought to feel like you're warming up the back, warming up the biceps and the shoulders. Really good for posture. Now we're gonna be adding on. The add-on is that you rotate and pull only one arm and then you exhale and rotate the other way. If this makes you dizzy to, to turn, then just do the both arms at the same time or just pull one arm and keep your torso forward. But if you follow your eyes along the horizon, that'll help, but don't do anything if it makes you sit dizzy. So let's take 10 more. As you rotate, your palm faces up. So rotate and the palm faces up into supination. And try six more. Six, upper back rotation. Five, elbow close to your rib. Four, your arm will brush by your rib. Three, two more. Two, and one. Now, I'm gonna take a slightly, uh, me a medium band. So, uh, if you have a, a lot of bands, then you'll probably switch, but otherwise, just stick with what you have and grab lower on the band. So, this time, your arms are, they're beside your hips, your arms are like you're a V. Now I'm gonna change positions, but you can stay. I just wanna show you in different views. You're pulling beside your hips and you're leaving your neck long. Your crown is lifted, your shoulder blades are down the back. Exhale, pull, 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 and pull. You're very tall. Your back shoulder is what we're focusing on here, the lats. The triceps are helping to keep your arms long. And we're gonna take 10 more. Notice how we're focusing on the back muscles or the back body. That's because the forward muscles, the anterior side of our body gets worked so much. In order to keep good posture, you, you have to bias the back body and the uh, weight training. And three, two, one. Now uh, cross the rope, cross the rope, put your elbow really close to your rib cage and open up. I'm gonna turn just so you can see from a different view. Look how little, that motion's not very big. I think of a door opening. Everyone looks so good. The other cue is you could scan your wrist and they should feel good, they should feel neutral. You shouldn't feel any severe torquing in those, in those wrists. The neck is also uh, long. The shoulders are down the back. <sighs> Try 10 more. 10, nine, good. Eight, your posture muscles are also getting worked in endurance as we stay tall. Looks good. Three, two, Woo! Now, uh, this is an informal release. So just take your shoulders in some circles up and around and then take a moment to uncross your band. So the band is parallel, they're no longer crossed. Your arms are softly wide. The left hand's going to the left wall, the right hand's going to the right wall. The arms are lower than your shoulder height. And if you're someone who's prone to upper trapezius tension or neck tension, you can also do this a little lower. And that's a nice modification. I'm just gonna be a little lower than my shoulders here. Try to work that range of motion that feels intense or challenging. So at the end range of motion, notice how it feels a little harder because your band's stretched out. 
if you slow it down there, it's work. All right, keep going. This is the back shoulder. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now I'm going to turn just so you can see me. This is a bicep curl. The first option, and I'll do it a couple different ways, is to just bend your elbows. Now you notice it depends on your length of your band. You may need to hold on to the tube a little lower. That's it. Another trick, if you can tolerate flexion, meaning if you don't have any uh, uh, osteoporosis, you can lean back and your elbow, if you lift it a bit, it's a more challenge. Woo! So good, belly and biceps. And your neck is still long. All right, try 10, nine, eight, seven, wrists are neutral, six, five, four, three, two, now one, and come up, and we're going to do one more and then grab a sip, but stay with me. You can sit any way you want. I'm just going to change up my legs. You can sit any way you want. So your palms are facing up as your hands face forward. You could sit crisscross. You could sit high kneel. You can sit low kneel. You can have your legs out in front of you. Good. So it is good. It's a good idea to be getting on the floor as a regular part of your week. And what I'm doing is just changing up the legs. Neck is easy. Good job. Palms are up or neutral. Now, very similar, just go narrow. Woo! Now my arms are starting to burn. I'm going to give myself a little bit more slack. So that's all you have to do with bands. To make it harder, grab more of the band. To make it easier, grab a little less. Make it longer. <sighs> Palms forward. Now check your neck. Your jaw is easy. And <sighs> six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take that out for a minute. If you need a sip, I do grab it and then we're going to come back. Now we're going to take some hand weights. So if you have hand weights, meet me. We're going to do heavier ones for chest press. So it could be that you're five to 12 pounds, but, um, you can have your threes or your fives handy as well because we're going to be doing a couple of hand weights down here. Now, get ready. If you want to take a slow roll down, you can work your abs that way. If you don't need to take a slow roll down, like let's say you're trying to, uh, you have osteoporosis and you don't want to do this, then you just get down with a hinge. Now, once you're down, whoops, I need those weights. <laughs> once you're down, head on the mat. You're going to take your feet on the floor like a bridge because you don't, you want your ribs to have some connection with the floor and we're pushing up, um, exhaling and Karen, if you want, you might put a little um, pillow under your head. If you feel like it's hard to keep your ribs down, try a folded mat or a pillow under your head and push up. Now you can even touch the one end of your left hand weight and the one end of your right hand weight at the top when you are uh, exhaling and you straighten your elbows up and you inhale and you exhale. Now, just for a moment, scan your ribs and while you're doing this and are they touching the floor? Scan your shoulders, make sure everything feels safe. The scapula are on the mat. Breathe in and breathe out. I like an exhale on that push. Ribs connect, three. By the way, if you needed a backup plan, you could be doing wall push-ups. Two and one. Now, release the hand weight beside you. Take a full body stretch and shift through your arms and shift through your legs. You can take uh, still a bit of a heavier weight, so maybe a five to 12 pound weight in each hand and take your hand weights up and open up a little bit like you're hugging a tree. Your feet are on the floor. Your neck should feel really good. There shouldn't be any tension in your jaw. Your head shouldn't feel like it's tilted back. If it is, 
grab a little uh, mat or a pillow or a towel and put it underneath your head so you've got some support. If your upper back is uh, generally rounded when you stand, then that's a place where you might need a head pillow when you're doing these. Again, if you need a backup plan, you can do some wall push-ups. Inhale and exhale. Now, just take five more feet on the floor. Four, three, two, and I want you to safely lower the weights and take a full body stretch again. And I'm going to have you hold hands with yourself or uh, the best you can do. Now, pretend you're a banana or a half moon. Your arms are overhead and they're on the ground if you're able to touch, but you're going to go to one side. So if someone were looking over top of you, you would look like a banana or a half moon. You can even pull your own wrist here. Nice. Uh, you're lying down and then kind of like half moon, but lying down. Now shift and put the arms the other way. And it's like you're a half moon or you're a crescent moon. You can even pull your own wrist, but you're on the floor. You're not, uh, you're not hands in the air. You're on the floor if you can, but if your hands are hovering above the mat, that's okay. Breathe in. It's like half moon lying down. Banana, but it's like a banana. It's called banana asana. All right, now I'm gonna have us, I'm gonna do an ab crunch to come up. I want a much lighter weight on this, a much lighter weight, because we're gonna do some side lyings, and a weight example would be a two, a three, up to a five. It, let's say, like for me, I don't have a three handy, so I've got a five. So I'm going to put it in my side. This is external rotation, but with a hand weight. Notice how my elbow's glued, and then I'm going to lower. I have my knees bent because that puts my, that just is a happier position. I can stay balanced as opposed to legs out. So three, four. Now look at your wrist. If you're not sure, it should be neutral. Five, six, Good, so this is a lighter weight. Seven, because it's therapeutic. Eight, now keep your elbows glued to your ribs. Nine, yes, I like it. Now, 10, you might be able to do, it depends on what weight you have, but let's do a 12 count. If you don't feel it at all, keep doing a little bit more. Now, I'm gonna meet you on the other side. So you have a probably a two, a three, a five. I would say a three pound weight would be good if you have that. Would be, uh, you know, ideal, open. And this is like a barn door. Two, three, good. Four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, and eight. At the top, Jean, make sure you're not flipping it vertical. It's staying par par parallel. Good. Yeah, there you go. So it's not just like uh, you're not cocking your wrist uh, behind you in any painful way. Nice. Everybody looks good. All right, a couple more for 12 or whatever you did. Inhale and exhale. Nice job. Terrific job. Now we're going to have a seat. Take your arm across and let your hand pull it across so you're helping yourself out in the shoulder stretch now one extra cue if you can add an extra cue and it doesn't disturb your stretch i like to add just a few wrist rolls about five each way get those carpals released inhale and on the exhale hold that hand on your elbow you're helping your rear shoulder breathe in and Terrific. Now I'm going to do a couple things. One is I'm going to make sure that the feet space is clear. In other words, I don't want our feet to be hitting anything. Second is grab a sip and we're going to go to standing. Now listen to your knees, but one thing you can do is come up without any hands that way. Or another way is to put a foot in forward and you see this foot kind of helps. So try two times coming up and down without your hands. Now, if you have to touch, just keep a count. Yeah, this is a good chance to move the screen too, but if you have to touch once, just okay, this time I touched once. That a girl. Oh, I love it, you did it. 
Oh, almost. Really push hard with your back leg, Polly, and you'll get it. Curl the toes. Awesome. That was great. Okay, I'm so glad. Grab a hand weight. I'll demonstrate. Grab a hand weight that's going to let you do this move. You see how long my lever is? That's why it's not going to be a super heavy weight. So maybe a threes, maybe a eight, a three to eight probably, but somewhere in there or fives would probably be good. It's a long lever. So it's up to about shoulder height. And notice that it's heavy feeling right there, and that's when you can work it. So you're not just letting gravity yank you down. Six, neck is easy. You're doing great. Eight, love strong shoulders. Nine, knee soft. 10, all right, we're doing great. 11, jaw is soft. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. Now we're going to lower those weights down safely. And we're going to take a stretch. So this time the stretch is cow face. And I want to offer that if you care to add on, you can sneak a tree pose in here or a one legged balance. So you're doing a couple things at once. I'm not a huge fan of multitasking, but in this case, it helps neuroplasty to challenge the brain during exercise. 10, Now, if you would like a challenge, see if you can release your hands and then lower your foot. Really good, and I'm gonna sneak my foot up first on this, and then try your other side, some type of either tricep stretch. Breathe in. Ooh, really good, guys. Breathe in, breathe tall. Lift up through the ribs, through the waist. You're doing great. Breathe in. And then exhale, lower that down. Nice, we snuck a one-legged balance because it's really important for the glute. Now we're gonna add a different weight. Grab a weight, you could do a hammer curl in, which looks like this. So it's gonna be probably a heavier weight than what you just used. So let's say five to 12 pounds, bend and lower. Now, check your wrist, check your elbows. If that doesn't serve you, you can always do them supinated. And four, and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Oh, check your knees, 11, they're soft. Neck is soft. All right, can you do five more? 11, 12, 13, 14, and then 15. Lower that down, grab a sip. Uh, if you'd like, grab a sip. And I'm gonna, there's this, of course, the computer likes to ask questions during class, doesn't it? Okay, good. So we're gonna take a sip. Interlace your fingers at the low back. Let your inhale open up your arms so it's so nice. Five, four, whew, three, all these posture stretches to make it easier to stand up right during the day. Breathe in, and then let's do one knocking on the door of life before we add on, so. <sighs> All right, this next one uh, is gonna be a little heavier weight. Now I'm gonna demonstrate it without the um, weight at first. So you see how my back's in line with my uh, leg? It's not rounded like this. You can tell, <laughs> right? It's a more integrated. Now it is gonna be a heavier weight, so let's say somewhere between uh, five and 15. 
um, I've got a 10 for example, but uh, pull your elbow by your ribs. And you know, part of the exercise is that form. You're making sure you don't round your back. Your front thigh does have a little work in it, kind of like a squat. It's just a balancing work. Good. And I, I have an image of starting a lawnmower. I don't think they start uh, so much like this anymore, but used to be you had to give it a big pull. Although mine does, I have that still, you have to pull. Anyway, so exhale, kind of like starting a lawnmower. Now we're going to, I'm gonna just turn and that way I'm on the arm that's towards you. Now I'm changing arms and the other leg, so let's say your left hand has the heavier weight, the right leg has a little bend. Your body has this, like a, um, an, a line or a lever or a two by four. It's not a turtle. Five, your front thigh is stabilizing you. Six, and pull the elbow up and then lower. And good. Eight, nine, good. 11, and you're breathing. And 12, good. And 13, and your shoulders down the back. And 15, good, your elbow's going by your side, 16, 17. And your back is strong, and energize your back leg, Betty, just a little bit, straighten it, yep, there you go. You're one long line, you're a lightning bolt. That was good. And then when you're done with that 20, get rid of that for a moment. And if you can take prayer pose, do prayer pose. So prayer pose behind you, sorry, reverse prayer pose is like this, and if that's too much, do prayer pose in the front. Five, good, four, three, good, two, and then let that go. Now I'm gonna tell you the next one without my weights, which is a little wider stance, we're gonna push up. This can also be done seated if you feel like you need more stability help in your body. Um, probably a lighter weight, I'm gonna say uh, five, to, uh, five to eight maybe, but listen to your body. If you need a three, go for it. So inhale. And yeah, you got it, Karen. Exhale, push. I was, I was sort of um, doing a slow layering of cues. But if you know where I'm going, go for it. Whew, breathe in. I do like a little bit of a, a hip width here. Whew, roll solid. Five. And you'll notice your abs are helping you not feel like you're wobbly. They're helping you keep stable when your arms are up. You don't want your back to feel like it's uh, a loose noodle, a wet noodle. Good. Neck is easy. Good. And 12. Good. And 13. And you notice you're lowering with control too. And 14. Feel your abdominals help you. 15. Now, if you can do five more, go for it. If you need to lighten your weight, that a girl, go for it or just use your hands. That was terrific. Way to go. Basically, you're choosing something healthy to do, but you're listening to your body. Now, lower that down. Take a moment, lower that down. Mm -hmm. Take half moon, and one way to do it is, this is the one I was showing you we did on the floor, but we did it kind of like a pull, so you can pull or you can put your hand down. This is the one I was showing you on the floor that I call banana asana when you're lying down. Now go to the other side. You can pull your own arm, or if you wanna put your hand down or cross your leg, I love it. There's a lot of fun variations on this. Breathe in. Inhale. And then exhale, come up. Now I do wanna add a front raise, so it's gonna look like this. So I would say three to six pounds. And take, I like a, about a hip width. We're, yep, that a girl, two. I like how you're drinking anytime you need it. Four, and keep going, I'll just demo. You notice your back doesn't lean back on this. Even though your arms are forward, you're trying to stay steady in your torso. Good, neck is easy. We're building density in the bones and quality bone. Good. Mm-hmm. And 
let that down. You did great. And then take three breaths up and I'm gonna have us do a little wide stance. So you're gonna take an inhale to go up and an exhale to go down. And an inhale to go up and an exhale to go down. Now on the last one, go up as tall as you can. So even if it means you lift your toes, your arms are pull, your shoulder blade, I had to uh, lower down for a moment, your shoulders are lifting up, five, four, three, two, and then let it down. Notice how you feel. We'll take our hands to our heart, stand tall, four corners of feet alignment, knees soft, the pelvis, if it were water, wouldn't spill forward or back, ribs are over the pelvis. And just notice how strong you're feeling, yet calm. Today I intend to stay closely connected to that feeling of strong and calm. If I notice that I start to wobble, I know I can come back into alignment with this homeostasis, this natural frequency of calm and strong. With so much appreciation, thank you guys so much. Thanks for joining me. Happy Tuesday morning, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for yoga. Thank you guys.